I know how Gabby Hanna this sounds, but I believe Gabby Hanna is psychic, so that's the difference. Remember how I said I wasn't gonna be a story time channel? Remember how I said I wasn't gonna do that? I don't think this counts as a story time. A story time is this one time that a thing happened to me and it was crazy. No, this is me trying to prove a point because <laughs> my father thinks I'm psychotic. So essentially, somebody, anybody, probably everybody who clicked on this video thinks that I'm psychotic just like my father does because I think I might be psychic. Ever since I was a kid, I've had these little things where sometimes I just knew shit. Examples. When I was a kid, one of my mother's sisters got married to a man that everybody automatically tried to give the benefit of the doubt. I, however, knew that he was a piece of crap and since from the very beginning that he was an awful person. A couple months later it was proven when he tried to drown me in my grandfather's pool. Psychic. Number two. My best friend, growing up, had an older sister. Both shall be remained anonymous. But the point is that when I was a kid, I used to have dreams about her getting married to a girl. Never knew why she had a boyfriend while we were growing up. And then after me and my former friend became teenagers, her sister came out as a lesbian. Even though she never told anybody prior, no one ever suspected it and she never had a girlfriend. Psychic. Number three, last year around Valentine's Day, my friend and I were supposed to go out with her sister and her sister's friend to a bar and she ended up late and no one knew why because she wasn't answering her phone. After about the third time of her sister calling, I remember sitting on the couch and in my head I remember thinking, her and her boyfriend are breaking up right now. And then when she came to the house, an hour later, she came in crying and informing us that her and her boyfriend had just broken up while she was on the way over. Psychic. Number four, whenever my mother and I watch movies or TV shows that involve figuring out who the killer is, I always within five minutes of watching the program can tell you exactly who the killer is and I am always right. Psychic. Number five, yesterday I was walking around work in the back singing the song Rhiannon by Stevie Nicks. For no reason, nothing had brought it on. I just for some reason believed I should be singing that song. Then a guy who had not seen me or heard me all day, I walked in on him talking to a customer about a Stevie Nicks concert. Psychic. I have a really bad habit of guessing the endings of movies or episodes of TV shows. I always kind of have this weird feeling when something bad is about to happen. And there's just always been a lot of coincidences surrounding me. But there has been three incidences in the last week, I think, week and a half, that have just thrown me over the edge. The first two could be considered coincidences. The last one, there is no way. First incident, about a week and a half ago, a friend who shall remain nameless, I hadn't spoken to her in about three weeks. And even then, it was very casual conversation. I suddenly had a very strange feeling she had lost her virginity. I had a suddenly very creepy, creepy feeling that her and this girl she had been seeing had made it official. And by made it official, I mean they did the nasty. And so then I got on Facebook and her Facebook story was a picture of her and this girl that says when it's finally official. <laughs> so then I messaged her questioning her on the situation, not bothering to bring up the fact that I had a weird feeling she had recently had sex. And then what does she tell me? Two messages into this conversation. Is it that obvious that I finally got laid? Psychic. Incident number two was only about three days ago. I have a friend who lives in another country who had been dating a girl she had been friends with for about a year. I had not spoken to her in probably a week and a half, two weeks. Then all of a sudden while watching TV, something that had nothing to do with her, didn't remind me of her, in my head, I heard, you need to check on her. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. I go to her Facebook page and I'm just kind of scrolling and I don't see anything. And in my head, I heard There's something wrong with that girlfriend. There's something wrong with that girlfriend. So then I message her and I said, are you still dating that girl? And then she goes, no, we just broke up. Psychic. 
Now I know, I know, I know, I know that skeptics or even people who think I'm psychotic are going to say that I am crazy. In the comments, they are going to say that I'm crazy. They're gonna dislike the video. Do as you will, you do you, I don't care. But the thing that has me believing that I am psychic is what happened night before last. Night before last, I worked until 10 o'clock at night, which was a very usual shift for me. I usually work until 10 or 11 at night. I come home from work and I am sitting in the basement with my father telling him about my day. He is watching a movie on TV that he has paused that I have never heard of or seen or know anyone from. It is a movie from the 1950s called The Vikings. I had never heard of this movie. I had never seen it. I didn't recognize any of the people in it. So I was sitting there telling him about my day and eventually he hits play on the movie. And I'm in just so much exhaustion from work that I don't care to move. So I sit on the couch with my mom and my dad and I'm just sitting there watching this movie for like half an hour. And it was like the middle of the movie. And I'm just sitting there wondering why I'm sitting there. In the movie, there is a depiction of the historical guy, Ragnar the Viking. In this movie, he has a son. I'm trying to remember how to pronounce his name. His son's name is either pronounced Aiden or Einid. I was wrong on both accounts, so don't listen to me at all. It was not Aiden or Einid. His name was actually Einar. I was just too stupid to actually look for that information before I started recording. So I'm watching this movie for a while before eventually I get so hungry I don't think I can stay in the basement. So my mom comes upstairs with me to talk to me while I'm cooking and we keep kind of going back and forth between the kitchen and my bedroom. And eventually we're just talking and you know, cutting up and joking around cause that's what me and my mother do. So I come in from the other room and I pretend to jump on her. And then I decide I'm gonna make fun of the movie that my dad's watching, even though he's nowhere around. So then I tried to say the name of his son, but I couldn't remember the name of his son. So I said the first name that came to mind. And I said, oh, don't be such an earnest. And my mom's like, earnest? And I'm like, yeah, you know, Ragnar's son. She's like, you believe that Ragnar, the Viking's son's name was Ernest? And I said, it is now, because it was better than whatever name it actually was. And so mom decides that she is going to make up a name, okay? I don't know what actual sound came out of my mother's mouth, but I misheard it. But it was something that started with a B. So she yelled out Ernest and then some made up last name that started with a B. And I turned around and I said, did you just say Borgnon? And she goes, yeah, I guess I did. I, <laughs> I'm having trouble saying this without sounding crazy. So we start joking around that Ernest Borgnine sounds like the name of a man who was an unsuccessful professor. That he probably invented some sort of something that no one actually uses, but he's technically an inventor and a scientist. So in order to try to add to the joke, after I leave the room, my mom does Siri on her phone and says, who is Ernest Borgnine? At which point I'm in the kitchen making my food and I'm laughing at her and then all of a sudden she goes, oh my God, so loud. And I'm freaking out and I'm like running back here and I'm like, oh my God, who is it? Is it a real person? And in my head, I'm thinking, you know, she found Ernest Borgnine is probably a random Facebook profile or Ernest Borgnine is like an old painter from like the 1800s or he's like a politician from a small town. I don't know. Something that was gonna be small and irrelevant and not connected at all. I come into the room finally and she has this look on her face like she's gone pale and she cannot believe the situation. And I'm like, well, who is it? Who is it? Is he real? And she goes, he's an actor. And she turns the thing around and I'm staring at it because the guy looks kind of familiar. I'm like, I don't know who this guy is. And I'm just, I can't wrap my brain around it. Cause I've never heard or seen his name before. I thought it was made up. I thought we made it up. And she goes, you know him. Ernest Borgnine, a name of a man who turned out to be real that we thought we made up in the midst of midnight hunger and exhaustion after an eight hour shift at work was the man who was playing Ragnar the Viking 
in the movie The Vikings from the 1950s that my father randomly picked from an array of movies on the fire stick. I have never heard of this man before that night. I had never seen this man before that night. I had no idea who he was, never seen his name, nothing. And I would have accepted it as a coincidence if it had been any other man. If he had turned out to be a real guy who was like a random chef at some restaurant in Los Angeles. If he was some guy who was on Twitter thinking somebody wanted to know that he was an Instagram model from Germany or whatever. But he was playing Ragnar in the Vikings movie that my father was watching in the basement. I'm spitting because that is how upset I am right now. Because I went and told my father this story immediately and he called me psychotic. Excuse me? I am not psychotic. I am psychic. I know that video was short. I know that video was random, but I was passionate about it and I felt the need to film it. So if you found this video interesting or funny or whatever and you actually liked it, please hit like, hit subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Turn on the bell to get notifications whenever I post every Monday. Leave me a comment letting me know if you've ever had one of these moments that is too much of a coincidence to be considered anything but having some sort of mystical universe endowed powers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And let me know in the comments if you've had any psychic experience. See you guys on Monday. Bye.